Hello and welcome to the last of the Pep Elt films for 2020-2021. Pep Elt stands for Picture Books in European Primary English Language Teaching. My name is Sandy Mornell and I talk about the picture book as object. I talk about the peritext, that which makes a picture book a picture book. June is Pride Month and we have chosen a brilliant picture book, Alfred and Albert by Morag Hood, published by Two Hoots Books in 2019. Alfred and Albert are aardvarks <laughs> and this front cover is lovely because they've, it's got a particular part, um, bits which, is, you, which are later in the picture book are associated with each of the aardvarks so you can return to this and ask the children about um, who is who in the illustration. So um, one of the aardvarks likes broccoli, one of them likes cheese, one of the aardvarks likes flowers and daytime and one of the aardvarks likes the nighttime. And this is actually the reason why they never meet because one is nocturnal and one is diurnal. Okay? <laughs> um, so a tale of love, aardvarks, broccoli and a small blue bird. And we can see in the illustration there, which actually comes from the inside of the picture book, that the small blue bird is here in the middle. Um, and that's that's important because she brought them together. It's almost as though she's balancing them, isn't it? <laughs> it's a very nice little illustration. Okay, so you might want to just do a little um, check that children know what aardvarks are and a little bit about them. Um, aardvarks are nocturnal normally. They are very quiet animals. They're very solitary. And they like digging, and they live under the and they dig burrows under the ground. So they they sleep during the day under the ground, and um, they come up um, at night time. And um, it's important that children know that aardvarks live under the ground because they need to understand this illustration on the front end papers, where the two aardvarks are in their separate burrows under the ground. Okay, so that's the beginning of the story. The two aardvarks live in separate burrows. Front, uh, front the, sorry, the title page there with the little blue bird, you can then ask the children once you've shared the story why Morag Hood placed the little blue bird on the title page. Um, she's key to bringing them together. And then there's a lovely dedication for Misha and Kiu, the aardvarks who inspired this story. Oh, that's nice. So maybe Morag Hood knew a couple who were her friends and she wanted to bring them together. Finally she did and they fell in love. That's lovely. I want to just mention the colour scheme that Morag Hood uses in this picture book. Blue is a primary colour, orange is a secondary colour, it's made of red and yellow and they sit in the colour circle at opposite sides of the colour circle and so they are complementary, they work very nicely together and so what Morag Hood has done is she's associated blue with Alfred and orange with Albert so they're always in their own colour, always very separate and that's very that's key to the, to the idea of these two creatures living separately, being um, completely individual and, and living without the other. Um, and um, and this was the problem that the little bird had. She desperately wanted to bring the two aardvarks together. And this is a great um, illustration where you've got the orange and the blue cut in half there. And it and, and the little bird is, is, is just very upset. It seemed that nothing could bring Alfred and Albert together. It's a great, great um, illustration. And of course, they do eventually come together and they do fall in love. But there's this great uh, spread where um, Albert falls down um, Alfred's burrow and you can see that move from blue to orange, just fabulous. So really nicely brought together here in the illustrations. And then um, there's a little epilogue illustration there um, where we they are brought together and we have a lovely little image of the two of them in a frame. And for the first time, they're both wearing um, bows and so we are shown that they are the same sex. It's very subtle, it's very nice. And then the back end papers where we have Albert and Alfred in their own burrow with a little sign saying the end finally together and the little bird is in the empty burrow <laughs> it's fantastic <laughs> really really brilliant picture book looking forward to hearing what Gail, Tasha and Annetta have to say about this fantastic picture book and I wish you a wonderful June if it's um, summer then I hope that it gets hotter for you if it's winter I hope it doesn't get too cold have a lovely holiday when it comes Take care and stay well. Bye-bye.